I just purchased, or should I say minted, my very first NFT on the Ethereum blockchain. Before we start this video, for all the subscribers, I want to let you guys know, obviously, this is not my studio, this is not my office. I am currently in the basement of my childhood home in Austria. I flew to Austria to surprise my mom for her 60th birthday. On top of that, the lighting situation down here is not the best. I'm currently working with this to get more light in my face, but I think it will do. <laughs> Anyways, let's dive into the NFT project, what I bought, how I did it. Let's get started. Since this was my very first NFT adventure, I was super excited about it because not only was I able to mint it rather than purchasing it later on OpenSea for a higher price, but it was just, like I said, my very first one. So obviously it was nervous. Before we talk about what I bought, I wanna make one thing very clear. This is not a sponsored video by the project or by OpenSea or anything that I'm mentioning after this section of the video. Also, I don't want to create FOMO or anything. This project I invested in could be amazing, but it could also be extremely bad. I simply want to share this adventure with you guys. And without further ado, the project I invested in is called Wanna Panda. It's already fun to say. If you have never purchased or minted an NFT, this is what you need, or at least that's how I did it. So I really like the Bored Ape Yacht Club NFTs. They just look really fun to me. But at that time when they launched, I was not familiar with NFTs whatsoever. And to be quite frankly, I didn't understand the purpose of it. All I saw was CryptoPunk selling for millions of dollars and I just didn't see the value in them. I just couldn't wrap my head around it. So I started digging deeper because I wanted to understand it. I was like, why, what is it all about? Everybody's talking about it. I don't get it. I want to understand it. So I did more research. So after doing research, I realized there are millions of art pieces out there that are currently, in my opinion, overvalued that won't be worth anything in a couple of years. I also listen to people like Gary V, who obviously does a lot of stuff in the NFT world. And even himself, he says 90% or 95% of the NFTs won't survive the next couple of years. And that makes sense to me because nowadays everybody puts up anything as an NFT and sells that. So that brings me to the first step. You need to find a project or an art piece that you like and also that you think will increase in value over time. And that's already the first hurdle. So how do you determine which project will be successful and how can you determine what to buy. Before I tell you how I did it, I want to make sure that you understand that I'm not a professional NFT trader. This is my very first investment. That's basically an adventure for me. It's not really an investment. It's more of an adventure. So please make sure if you keep watching this video, I'm not an expert. I'm just sharing my first NFT adventure. So this is how I did it. I went to rarity.tools to see and look up, you know, upcoming projects and just look through it and see if there's anything I like visually. After that, I based my decision on four different things. Number one, do I like the art? This was super important to me because I don't want to invest into an art piece that I don't even like. Because like I said, it's not an investment where I hope to make millions of dollars within a couple of months. I mean, obviously it's not bad, but you know what I mean? I don't want to put money into an art piece that I don't even like looking at. Don't get me wrong, CryptoPunks are amazing as an investment because if you bought that or got one a couple months ago, now I think the floor price is around $200,000. But if you put all the monetary value of the art piece aside, just looking at it, I don't like it. It's boring to me. Like I would not want to hang that up and look at it. But mind you, if you put the monetary value on it, I might put it up in my in my office and then look at it and know, oh, that's a quarter million dollars right there on my wall. I digress. So I found a project called Wanna Panda. They looked super cute. I loved it. Next step. What is the project about? So after identifying art that I like, I realized that a bunch of those projects offer the same things, such as a private community, giveaways, NFT comics, full ownership for commercial rights for your NFT and charity. This particular project pledged to donate 10 Ethereum to a wildlife foundation, which in my opinion is awesome because I love animals. The cool thing about it is that you as an owner of that specific NFT, the Wanna Panda NFT community, you are allowed to vote on which charity gets the money. So I thought that was really cool because even if my NFTs are worth absolutely nothing within the couple, whatever, next four weeks or whatever, even tomorrow, maybe they're worth absolutely nothing in a year. 
I don't care because I like the art, it looks cool. And on top of that, I know that my purchase of $1,000 helped a little bit with that specific wildlife foundation that the entire community votes on. Number three, amounts of NFTs available. So as we all know, if there's a limited amount available, technically the price should increase over time if the demand is there. Same concept applies to Bitcoin because there are only 21 million available and you cannot just create more because you want to. Let's jump back to CryptoPunks. Same concept applies there as well because I'm pretty sure that the floor price would be way, way, way lower if they would drop 5, 10, 15 new CryptoPunks every other day. So as long as the demand is there, the price will just increase in value. But don't get me wrong, I fully understand that CryptoPunks was one of the first NFT projects available. So obviously that got a lot of attention in the news and that's why it's so hyped up because it's the very first one. It's the OG of NFTs. Number four, how big is the community? This was another important factor for me because we have all seen it with Dogecoin. If there's a strong enough community, you can move the value of a specific asset to the moon. <laughs> All right, sorry. So for this specific project, I wanted to see what is the interest? How many people are interested in that project? Is it more than 10,000 people? Or is it gonna be whatever, 3,000 people trying to get 10,000 NFTs? For the Wana Panda, they had a community or still have a community of 16,000 members. And this just showed me that there's so much interest in that project that the NFTs will sell fast. And I'm pretty sure if I didn't want to have them anymore in like a week, I can probably sell them for the same price, maybe even a higher within a couple of weeks as well. So the bigger the community, the higher the chances of me reselling that NFT back to the community within a couple of weeks. So that was just one important factor for me. So after I checked all of these boxes, I went to their website and I saw, whoa, within the next 60 minutes, I was able to mint a panda so i was super excited about that and i was like okay let's get started i want to be prepared i want to mint those pandas so first of all i needed a metamask i already had one but if you don't have one and don't know what that is a metamask is basically a wallet where you can store your nfts or just your cryptocurrency i already had my metamask and i just put a thousand dollars worth in ethereum onto my metamask and I was ready to mint. As anticipated, the website kind of collapsed when the official launch happened. So I got a little scared because the website was just dark and it was down. So I kept refreshing the website and I was able to get three pandas, three NFTs for $1,000. So basically $333 per NFT minted on the release date. By the way, the project sold out within 45 minutes. Within the next two minutes, I had my three NFTs in my wallet and I was happy the, the adventure started and it was successful. I already had my three minted NFTs in my wallet, but I couldn't look at them. So I was like, what is wrong with my NFTs? Then I realized they had a reveal party planned 24 hours later. So I had to wait 24 hours until my panda was released. That was super interesting because there are different tiers to those NFTs, starting from neutral, rare, super rare, super, super rare, and special. Obviously the normal are not as crazy as the special ones because there are only 25 out of 10,000 available within that collection. 24 hours later, I opened my MetaMask and all of them were revealed and I got two normal ones and one super rare these are my nfts that i got i have to say i love them all even the simplistic ones the normal ones that are not as you know worth as much as the super rare but obviously the super rare is just cool because it's super rare <laughs> there are not as many available in that collection of 10,000, so i know that this one's already worth more or will be worth more in the near future hopefully could be worth nothing in a couple days as well we don't know. Now you can easily say that I overpaid a thousand dollars for three gifts. Gifs? Do you say gifs or gifs? Gifs? I'll just say gifs. 
gives. But as I mentioned before, for me, it was more of an adventure to get my feet wet into the you know NFT world. I just wanted to see what it's like, how the process works. I just wanted to understand it. I'm always eager to learn more about things that I don't understand. And this was one big project for me. And it's still a project. I'm still working on it, trying to educate myself more on it. But again, it was a great start, great adventure. I got three super cool looking pandas. I will definitely keep you in the loop and let you know if I lost a thousand dollars by purchasing or minting these three NFTs, or maybe they're valued at a way higher price, but I'll let you know either way. It was definitely a lot of fun doing this while being at home because my mom was just watching me being super nervous about the, the minting and she has no idea what an NFT is. So we just had a laugh just doing this entire adventure project. Anyways, I had a lot of fun. I have three beautiful NFTs now. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with them. I'm probably gonna hang them up in my office in Florida. But yeah, if you're still watching this video, yeah, I'm talking about you. Thank you so much for your time. I truly appreciate you. Have a great day.